It's Lindsay here with Pilates On Demand. Welcome to the Fit Series, Pilates High Intensity Interval Training, where we combine our Pilates body weight strength movements and some high intensity cardio. You're not going to need any equipment for this entire series. It is a seven day plan. So I've got your full body, your back, your butt, your arms, all of it. Today is fit full body from head to toe, just to kind of introduce you to the week. So let's get started. Our warm up is going to be straight through, no, no intervals, no breaks, and then I'll walk you through those Pilates, we take a break, we hit that cardio nice and hard. So we're gonna start with circles. I just want you to lift your right foot up, circle that ankle around, loosen up that joint. If you need help with the balance, hold on to a wall or a chair, reverse those circles for me. Nice job, nice job. Or challenge that balance, use your core, try to stay lifted. Okay, right foot down, left foot up, circle that ankle around. I'm super excited for this series. It's going to be a heck of a workout. Reverse those ankle circles. That's it, that's it. Now you're gonna bring your legs all the way together, hands to your knees, we're in a squat. We're gonna circle those knees counterclockwise all the way around the world. Try to keep your heels planted on the floor. I just want you to reverse those circles. Good, we're moving up the chain. Circling everything around. Okay, last one. Feet go hips distance apart, a little bit in the knees. Hip circles like you're in a hula hoop. Good, loosen up through the hips. And just take that in the other direction. All the way around the world, chest is still for this one. And then freeze those hips. Okay, interlace your fingers, reach your arms straight up, relax your shoulders, draw your core in. We're gonna take circles with our upper bodies. So we're going right, round through center, waist pulls back left, little bit of a back bend. Good, continue in this direction. Good, if you wanna bend your knees when you go into that spine stretch, you can. That can help you just open up your back body even more. One more. We're gonna reverse this, let's take it over to the left. Left, center, right, lift the heart. Left, center, right, lift the heart. Last one, take it all the way around. Find that back pin at the top, release those hands. Okay, cardio move, last thing in the warm up. Four butt kickers, four high knees. So we're opening up the front of those thighs. So we're warming up those hip flexors. Continue to alternate right here. Okay, I'm gonna start to walk you through where we're headed. It's going to be a one minute interval of a Pilates strength-based movement, a 15 second break. Then our cardio movements will be 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So every break is 15 seconds. Don't worry if you don't remember what I just said. I will guide you through this whole workout. We're here 20 seconds. Let's pick that pace up. I want you to be nice and warm for when we start. Good. Knees up, heels up. Last pass through, knees up, heels up. Okay, step tap, breathe. Are you ready? We are taking on our first interval right here. We are doing hundreds in our footwork. Feet are hips distance apart and parallel. Sink your hips back and down. Arms are strong by your starts, by your sides. Start to pump. Inhale two, three, four, five. Exhale two, three, four, five. Drop the hips an inch. Breathe in for five through the nose. Breathe out for five through the mouth. For five through the nose for five through the mouth. Drop an inch, that's it, you're halfway here. I need about 20 seconds left. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Sink your hips another inch. Keep those arms strong and active so they're not flailing around, but imagine you're moving through something thick like mud. Last 10. Let's drop one inch, I want your hips Lining up with those knees. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Last set. And stand it up. Okay, you have 15 seconds. I'm gonna show you our cardio move. We're gonna take it all to the right. Jump right, cross your left leg behind. Turn right, turn center, 
back to the center. Here we go, 45 seconds. Jump right, left leg crosses behind. Jump right, center, back to the middle. Right, turn, face forward, jump to the center. Now pick the pace up. We're only going over to the right for this first side. You can have your hands on your hips if that's helpful. You can have them out to a T if that's gonna help you with your balance a little bit. Good job, good job. You're almost halfway right here. Definitely challenging that balance, right? You got it. It's just the first move. So be patient with yourself. Let that body warm up. You're here for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work. 15 seconds, we're gonna take that over to the left. So I'll just show you the demo. We jump left, right leg crosses behind. Turn left, turn center, back to the middle. We're on in five, four, three, two, one. Let's hit it, jump left. Turn left, center, jump to the middle. Left, turn, center, middle. You got it. Okay, we're balancing on that one foot. We're getting strength in that leg. We're challenging our balance. We're gonna stay patient with ourselves if we trip. That is a-okay. 25 seconds on the clock. Keep moving, keep cruising. If you need to go slower, go slower. If you're feeling real hot already, I want you to pick that tempo up. We're here for our last 10. Good job, good job. In five, four, three, two, and one. Good work, we're gonna bring it down to the ground to do our spine extension. Come lay on your belly. Once you get down here, our 15 second break is up, unfortunately. Legs are hips distance apart and parallel. Bring your fingertips to your ears. Now, push your tailbone into the floor. You're gonna lift your chest up for three. We go up an inch, up an inch, up an inch, and down. We lift up for three, up higher for two, all the way up on one, and then all the way down. So three lifts, and one lower. Okay, you got 30 seconds left. I want you to engage your shoulder tips together, and down, sliding the muscles, that are around the back of your neck, away from it. Yeah, those upper traps like to lift here, but we're not gonna let that happen. Okay, one more here. We go up for three, two, one, and we take it down. Okay, 15 second break, and then we have a minute doing it on the reverse. So it's up on one, down for three, a little more down for two, down for one. Okay, so here we go. Belly button in, tailbone is angling down to the heels, fingertips to the ears. You have a big lift of your chest without your pelvis moving, and then you'll lower down slowly. Three, two, one. Now when you lift your chest up, it is not forceful to where the hips rock around because you are using momentum, which I will demo right here. You're not doing that to get yourself up. I'd rather it be a lot smaller of a lift than that be what the extension looks like. So we're doing this on the reverse now. We're up for one, and then we're slowly going down. Three, two, one. Up for one, slowly descend. Three, two, one. Okay, we're more than halfway. At the top, I want you to squeeze those shoulder blades down your spine. Lift, lower. Three, two, one. Last 20 seconds. Breathe in. Slowly lower, breathe out, breathe in. Slowly lower, breathe out. One more, we lift up. Take it down nice and slow. Three, two, one. Press on up to kneeling. Five mountain climbers and then a knee tuck hop, all on the left leg. I'm demoing real quick before we go. Five knees, you know this. One, two, three, four, five. Feet are back. You're gonna drive your left knee in and hop up on the right leg. For 45 seconds, it's all gonna be the left knee that pulls in. We are on, let's go, five climbers. Feet step back, pull the left knee in, hop the right leg up, drive it in. Both feet are back, left knee tucks up, and both knees hop. 
Okay, now we know it, we're gonna pick it up. We have 35 seconds on the clock. Now we are warm. It's time to start to push the tempo in these intervals, in these cardio moments. Let's get what we want out of them. We want that calorie burning, fat burning advantage that they offer. Okay, you have 15 seconds. Good, keep those shoulders stacked over those wrists. Final 10. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now it's gonna be the right knee. I'll just show you the right knee. The right knee tucks in, the left leg hops with those five climbers. You ready? Four, three, two, one, let's hit it. Five climbers, one, two, three, four, five, both feet back. Right knee drives in, hop up on the left. Now every time, it's the right knee that tucks up. Reach your chest forward and breathe through it. Good, try not to send your tailbone up to the ceiling when you're in that plank, right? One long line in the body. You've got this. We are just outside of 15 seconds. Right knee tucks in, hop on the left for 10, for five, four, three, two, last one, one. Awesome job. Good work, good work. Okay, take your little recovery. We're coming into thigh stretch. Knees, hips distance in parallel. Modification, hands by the sides. More advanced, fingertips to the ears. Angle your low back down. Lift your navel up. Thigh stretch with thoracic extension. We hinge back. Then from your chest, lift up. Come back to neutral. Return. Hinge. Extension from your upper back. Flatten out. Return. When we hinge, we're one long line from the knees to the head. There should be no break in the back. When we go into the back bend, we're moving from the tips of our shoulder blades. <laughs> Just like when we do a crunch for our stomach, this is like a crunch for your back. So if we were crunching our core, we fold from the rib cage, we're doing the exact same thing when we come back into that extension. 20 seconds here, guys. Hinge, heart up, neutral, return. Engage those glutes for me. Soften those shoulders. Puff up, neutral, return. Let's find one more. Hinge back, heart up, neutral, return. Bring it to standing. Okay, cardio interval. Let me demo real quick. It's a jump lunge and four scissors. We're gonna have the right leg in back and left leg in front. Jump lunge. Jump together, switch the feet for four. Left leg front, jump it up, switch for four. Ready? Let's hit it. Left leg is in front this whole series. You have 40 seconds and let's move. Yep, I'm really gonna start to amp up those pace when we're in these high intensity moments. Woo! 20 seconds to go. That's it, that's it. Fire it up. Okay, make sure you're staying on that same leg. Final five, four, three, two, one more. And one. Okay, you're just gonna repeat that with the right leg in front for me. In five, four, three, two, one. Right leg front, left leg back. We lunge down, we jump up, scissor for four. Right leg front, scissor switch four. Right leg front, scissor switch four. That's it, 30 seconds. Let's move. Woo! That's it, that's it, good job guys. Show me that energy. You've got it in you. Why did you show up today? This is what you have to really keep in the front of your mind as you work through this. Good job, we've got 15 seconds. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and a one. Awesome walk. 
it out. Heart rate coming down. Bring it to the mat. Come to kneeling. Okay, we're going into a side kick twist. 15 seconds goes fast, huh? So that left leg's gonna reach out to the left. Foot in line with knee. Right hand or fingertips underneath the shoulder. Left hand behind the head. Lift the left leg up. Now everything below your ribs is gonna stay still. Twist your upper back, bringing your right elbow and your left elbow together. Then open your chest, restock your shoulders. Okay, this is a one minute interval. Pilates moves are one minute. Cardio is 45 seconds. Thank goodness, right? <laughs> Turn through the waist and then come back to center. So you should feel like your upper back, your shoulder blades are getting a nice twist. Open up, breathe in. Go ahead, turn into it, breathe out. Now make sure that left leg is not down here. I wanna see some height on it. That's gonna help us work our hips. That's what we are here for, getting that whole body a little stronger. Boom. Final five, four, three, two, one. Set it down. Okay, breathe. We got that on the other side. So these are these unilateral movements. We have to do both sides, right? Left foot, that's your right foot. Right foot out to the side, left knee underneath the hip, left hand underneath the shoulder, right hand behind the head. It's a lot of body parts. So we're floating this right thigh up. It stays lifted. Our tailbone is towards our right heel. We're gonna twist that upper body, bringing our top elbow to our bottom elbow and then open our chest back up. Now when I turn, I'm not trying to rotate my pelvis, but rather the hips don't move, the shoulders do. Yep, that's gonna give us the mid back, the thoracic rotation, rather than like an open twist where the whole torso turns. Inhale to open up, exhale to twist. Now really try to keep that right thigh up. I know it wants to drop. 13 seconds right here. Twist into it. Open up into it. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, one more, 2, 1. Twist, open, restack. Take it down. Okay, coming to standing. 45 second interval, right leg. We go out, out, in, in. The right knee lifts up for two, lift, lift. Here we go, right leg, out, out, in, in. Right knee, lift, lift. Right leg, out, out, in, in. Jump, jump. So that right leg is leading this series the whole time. 45 seconds, let's go. Pick it up, up, up. I wanna see some power on those single leg hops. Good work, 22. Up, 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 up. Here we go, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, and 1. Okay, it's the left. Out, out, in, in, up, up. Left knee pulls up. Are you ready? We're going in 4, 3, 2, 1. 45 seconds. Left, right, left, right, left leg, left leg. Up, up, open, open, close, close, up, up, pick it up. Up, up, woo! I love these single leg hops. See so if you can get some height on those jumps. You got 30 seconds. You got it. Keep it up. Just keep moving, whatever you do. Just don't quit. That's all I'm asking. If you need to step tap, jog in place, you do that. But don't sit down, don't quit. 12. For eight, seven, six, five, four. Don't stop till we're on one. Three, two, one, and one. Walk it out. We've got a leg move coming up, so you're gonna stay standing. Some single leg work. I'm gonna start over with this left leg in front. Hands to the hips. Little bend in the left knee, hips are squared. Right leg is gonna sweep back, coming into a single leg deadlift. Now, a deadlift is not here. This is like a forward standing split. 
A deadlift is chest in line with butt. One flat line in the spine, chest open. Pull the left leg through. Extend the leg and firm your VMO. Muscle around the quad, bend the knee. Right heel lift, lower. So it's three parts. Sweep the left leg back. We have a single leg deadlift. Both legs are strong. Pull the left hip forward, right hip back. Squeeze from your right glute. Draw your left leg to tabletop. Extend, firm your quad. Bend your knee, calf raise. Okay, it was a long instruction, so we're gonna say we're only 10 seconds into this, okay? Take your time. Do not rush to increase your chances of balancing. Slow it down or increase your, your challenge. Good, I want you to breathe whatever feels natural here. Do not hold that breath. And if that feels natural, don't do it. Woo, okay, one more time through. Sweep that left leg back. One long line from the left heel to the top of the head. Pull the left knee into tabletop. Extend, firm your quad. Bend the knee. Right heel lifts, lowers, take it down. Ooh, that right foot got a lot of work. So we're gonna repeat this on the left leg. So one time slow, we'll do it together. Left foot is planted, hips are square, that right leg slides back. We're squared to the floor. The right knee pulls to tabletop. We'll extend the leg and firm the quad. Then you'll bend your knee, lift your heel up, lower your heel down. Okay, we're starting our minute right here. Hinge forward, long line. Good, pull the left knee up. Extend the leg, firm your thigh. Then the right knee, lift, lower that left heel. Smooth out your pace. Like I said, the tempo for this one is slow. So yeah, this is high intensity interval training. That doesn't mean that every single moment is gonna be skyrocketing through the roof, but the reason you I would design a program this way is so we get a little bit of recovery on that heart rate and that we're able to be successful and finish this challenging workout. Okay, last one after this. Calf raise on the left. One more time through. Find that single leg deadlift. I'm very excited for the next move, by the way. Pull the right knee to tabletop. Extend the leg from your thigh. Bend your knee, lift the heel and lower. Awesome. So guess what? We are gonna do a reverse burpee. Let's learn it and then we'll crush our two 45 second intervals. You're gonna jump up. Hands behind your head, bend your knees, roll down your spine. Curl up halfway, plant your hands underneath your shoulders, reverse tabletop. Lower your butt. Roll up to standing. Jump. One more time slow, 45 seconds. Jump up, hands behind the head, roll it down. Curl up halfway, plant your hands, reverse tabletop. Drop your hips, drive up to standing, jump. Ready, 45 seconds, let's go. Jump up, roll all the way down, lift up halfway, plant the hands, lift your butt, rock it up to standing, and we jump. Now you know it, let's move fast. I want that heart rate to get blasted here. Woo, good work, good work. Let me see some really big jumps in the air. You're halfway when you lift up into that reverse tabletop. Get your hips high. Here we go, 15 seconds. Use your breath, use your body. This is working your core like crazy. 10, for five, four, three, two, last one, let's get it. And jump it up on. One, woo, that was crazy, right? Okay, I'm gonna have you just turn around, face the opposite direction, 45 second push, same move. You ready? In three, two, one, jump it up, roll it all the way down, halfway lift, reverse table, release, roll up, jump up, roll down, reverse table, use those glutes, use the core. Big high jump at the top. 30 seconds. Let's move, let's move. You know that you get to slow down in 20 seconds, so show me what you got. 
Let's get it, guys. We showed up for some hit. Let's do it in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, jump it up on one. Walk it out. Whoa, that was nuts. I want to know what you thought of that move. I'm very, I was very excited about that move. Whew, awesome work. We're on to our next Pilates move. So elephant is a movement we do on the reformer. I want you to think of pulling your feet and your hands together. That's how you would keep the reformer closed if we were on a moving carriage. We're not on a moving carriage, so we just have to be a little uh, you know, creative, imaginative. So hands are as wide as your mat, fingers slightly turned out. Your modification is to keep your both feet on the floor. We're up in what would look like a down dog. In Pilates, we call this elephant. You're gonna reach your right leg to the sky. Then you'll bend your elbows nice and wide, lowering the top of your head to the floor, and then lift up. Now, when you come down, I do not want your shoulders up onto your neck. So make sure the entire time there is space between your shoulders and your neck. Okay, guys, this is a minute interval. Good, wide bend of those elbows, tap the head, press up. Squeeze your right glute to keep that right leg lifted. We're halfway here, 30 seconds. Good. This works your shoulders, this works your triceps, this works your core. Think of dragging energetically your hands to that left foot. 15 right here. Long line in the spine, keep that chest open and your tailbone lifted for 10. For five, four, three, two, one. Set your knees down. Okay, we have a 15 second recovery and then we're gonna repeat that with your left leg up for our elephant push-ups. You ready? We're going in five seconds. Wipe that sweat off and join me. Fingers spread wide, just like a down dog. Tuck those toes, lift your hips, modification, both feet on the floor. Left leg lifts up, shoulders off the neck. Then bend your elbows wide, top of the head tups, touches the floor. Now I'm gonna keep a micro bend in my supporting my leg, my leg on the floor, because I tend to hyperextend. So that's just a good modification for me, is to not keep everything so straight. I don't wanna hurt my hamstrings. Let's see, it's an inhale, wide elbows, and then exhale, press up. That's 30 seconds, we have 30 seconds left. Slowly tap your head down, lift up. Woo! How are those arms feeling? I want you to try to get your head to the mat each and every time. 15. Do not quit on yourself. If you have to take a break, take a break, but that doesn't mean stop. Final five, four, three, two, one more. And one. Okay, bring yourself up to standing. This next move is a little crazy. We're gonna tie it. It's a jump lunge and a switch switch in the air. So let's walk through it slow and then we'll do it and crush it. Left foot is gonna stay in the front for the whole interval. Right leg is back. We go down into our lunge. When we jump up, you're gonna kick your right foot forward and then bring it back. Run in place for 10. Okay, 45 seconds, left foot forward. Jump lunge, switch, switch. Jogging in place, 10. Left foot forward. Jump up, switch, switch in the air. Jog it out. You got it. You know I like to throw something crazy out there. But you're strong, you can handle it. Take the switch out if that's too much. We're here 20 seconds. <sighs> Woo! Get some power in those legs for 10. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, breathe 15 seconds. We repeat that with the right leg in front. So let's just look at that right foot forward, left toes back, we're down. That left leg kicks right back. That was a little sloppy. I'm gonna try to do better now. You ready? Right foot forward, left foot back. We drop down, switch in the air, jog it out for 10. Right foot forward again. Jump down, switch, switch, and jog it out. I definitely feel like this side isn't as strong, but that's why we do unilateral movements to even out the imbalances. Woo! 
jog it out. 20 seconds. Give me what you got. I know it's a lot. That's why you showed up for fit. Jog it out. Give me one more. Hit that lunge. Switch it in the air. Jog it out. Good work. And breathe. Get water if you need it. And 15 seconds. We're going down to the mat for a side plank. Okay, you ready? Right arm down, elbow underneath shoulder. You're gonna stack your legs. Modification is the feet staying together. Advance that top leg lifts. You're gonna pulse the leg up three times. Three, two, one, and then freeze. Pulse it up. Three, two, one, and freeze. You've got it. Pulse, 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 freeze. What is this doing? It is working your outer hips. Just like our side lying series, our side kick series, that is what we're targeting. The waist and the glutes. 30 seconds right here. One, two, three, freeze. Starting to shake, that's a good sign. Those muscles know we're pushing them out of their comfort zone. That's how we get stronger. Three pulses and a hold. Lift that side up for me. Three pulses and a hold. You have 10. And a hold. Final five, four, three. One more time through. Pulse three, two, one. Hold. Take it down. Okay. Enjoy these 15 seconds. Oh. <laughs> okay, in 10 seconds, we're repeating this over on the left forearm. You ready? Left forearm down, chest open, legs stacked, hips up. One minute on the clock. Top hand to the hip, top leg lifts. We pulse it three, two, one. Now you're probably thinking, wow, I already feel this. Yeah, because your bottom outer hip is working as well. It's a really little lift, right? It's not a big pulse. Super small, controlled, keep it high. You have 35 seconds here, yeah? Chest open, head back. Try not to round into the position. Good, three pulses. Add a little lower. Final 20. Lift it up. Three, two, one. Hold. Yep, find and hold on to it. It's getting hard, but guess what? That doesn't mean we can't do it. You've got 10. Final eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that side was getting really hard for me. Okay, we have a falling donkey kick and a jump squat. Watch me while you recover. So from standing, whoa, my legs feel a little wobbly. From standing, you're gonna come forward, land on your hands. Kick your heels to your butt, push off of them. Stand all the way up. Drop down, jump squat. Let's do it, 45 seconds. Hands to the floor, kick your heels to your butt, stand all the way up, drop all the way down, jump. Hands to the floor, heels up. Stand up, drop down, jump. Okay, let's move, let's cruise, let's get that heart rate lifted. I wanna hear that breath, you should be breathing heavy. That's a good sign. Halfway, big high jump, big high kick, 15. When you push off your handstand all the way up, then blast off. One more time through right here. Donkey kick, stand up, jump squat, walk it out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. You're crushing it. Okay guys, turn around. Face the other direction. Let's hit it again. Three, two, one, let's do it. Donkey kick, stand up, jump squat. Stand up, jump squat, good. Now if you're getting really tired, all I'm asking you is to keep moving. Doesn't mean you have to be going as fast as me. It just means keep going, because you know you can. Woo! Guys, you're so close to crushing this workout. You don't even know it. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
five, I need one more. Four, three, two, one. How's that heart rate? Woo, it's up there. And that's what we showed up for. Walking it out, okay. We're coming to our last extension move. So you're gonna come to lay down on your belly. We're gonna go from our Superman to our rocking prep. So, arms and legs are long. Hip bones reach into the mat. Lift everything up. Circle your arms around, bend your heels and grab your feet. Big inhale, lift up. That feels good in the chest. Release without slingshotting. Extend everything long, lower down. Lift, bend the knees, grab the feet with the hands. Hard up, hips down. Release, circle around and lower. Breathe in, we're up. Circle those arms around. Keep those knees nice and narrow. Release, extend long, lower. Let's go through two more. Move with the breath. This is that chance for the heart rate to get a little recovery. Last one, we're up. Circle around, grab those feet, lift the heart, and release. Okay, we're going plank jacks with an arm raise. The first 45 seconds is gonna be the left arm lifting when the feet open. So watch me, feet together as they jump apart, the left arm is up. As they come together, the left arm is down. Let's do it, 45 seconds, hands underneath shoulders. Feet go out, arm goes up, bring it back in, pick it up. We're just lifting the left, the right arm will get to do it the next time. Okay, you're less than five minutes away from crushing this, so knowing that, I don't want you to finish thinking, I could have given more, I still have more energy, I need you to give me that energy right here, right now. 20, 15, 10, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down. 15 seconds, we hit that on the right hand lifting when the feet go into our jumping jack. Are you ready? Wipe that sweat, I know. It's hard, but that's the point. Find your plank, hands underneath your shoulders, feet together when the feet jump apart, the right arm lifts up. Bring it down, we're gonna move. Open up, down, and together. 45, square your hips, pick the pace up, neck is long. Look at the ground, reach your heart forward. Halfway, 22 seconds, pick it up. 15, yes you can. I want you to tell yourself right now for 10. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down, breathe. Three intervals left. Are you dripping? I'm dripping, this is crazy. Hundreds, we are finishing our last Pilates move just how we started. Bring it down onto your back. Modification, feet on the floor, tabletop, straight up, 45 degrees, strong arm. Sealed fingers, curl up, lower the legs, lift the chest pump. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Low back is on the mat. If you're not able to do that, I need you to lift your legs up higher. <sighs> Hear and listen to that breath. It should be hard. Our heart rate is up, we're sweating. I want you to try to control the breath here. 30 seconds, then you're on your feet for your last two cardio pushes. Pump those arms, lift that chest, lower those legs. Slide those shoulders down, try to touch your feet with your hands. 20 seconds right here. Can you curl up a little bit higher? The answer is yes, and I wanna see it. Let's get there right here. Pump those arms, 10, nine, eight, seven, lower those legs, six, five, four, three, two, freeze on one, we're here, 10, nine, lift that chest, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up to standing. Last two pushes are cardio. Five jumps in the center, 
Twist right, watch me, then we'll pick it up. Bend those knees, we bounce down. One, two, three, four, five, quick twists. 45 seconds, all right, 15 second break, all left. You ready? Let's go. Three, two, one. Twist, five jumps, quick twist. Agility, like you don't even want someone to see that you're twisting. Quick twist, boom. Get a pop in it. Twist, pick it up halfway. Let's crush it, 15. Let's go, let's go. 10. For five, four, three, two, one. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Reset, gather yourself. You're ready to lay it out. In five, we twist left. 45 seconds, let's go. Three, two, one, five jumps. Quick twist. Quick twist. Make sure you're staying low with those bounces. Feet barely leave that ground. 30 seconds are on the clock. We're moving as fast as we can. Let me see it, let me see it. 20. We're crushing it, sprint pace. Get out of breath, make it uncomfortable for 10. Woo! Last one, and twist. Oh my gosh, that was severely intense. Walk it out. I want you to give yourself a moment here to be proud of yourself. That was no joke, yeah? Step tap. Whew. Recover that breath. Get water if you need it. Don't just sit down when your heart rate's really up. I want you to walk it out. Big breaths. Flood that body with oxygen. Okay, we're here for five, four, three, Two, one, ready to cool it down. We're gonna do some stretching, so I want you to bring it to the mat. We're gonna hit a downward dog. Fingers wide, feet as wide as the mat. Drop your heels, lift your hips, relax your neck. Let your chest go down towards the floor and your hips lift up towards the sky. Walk your feet together. Step your right foot wide outside of your right hand into a high lunge. Take a big twist to the right, reaching that right arm up to the ceiling. Circle the arm back to the floor, step back plank. Left foot steps forward and wide, knee over ankle. Open up, big twist, stack those shoulders. Good, bring it back down to the floor, feet together, downward dog. Walk your hands back to your feet, forward fold. Shift weight forward to the front of the feet and the hands. Bend your knees, roll it up. Okay, we're gonna go quad stretch. Right hand to the outside of the right foot. If you have a hard time balancing, especially after our legs are like, ah, what'd you just do to me? Just hold on to something. Are you a sweaty mess like me? Switch it up. Other side. Woo! Bring the knees together. Make sure you're not popping your chest out and dumping in the low back. This position is not good. Lift up nice and tall, go for a flat spine. Good, release the legs. Okay, feet inner, hips distance apart. Interlace your hands, stretch it up. Open your heart to the ceiling, take a breath in. Open your arms out to a T. Flex your palms, push through your left hand. Drop your head over to the right. Big neck stretch. Drop your head left, push through that right hand. Big stretch through the neck. Take your head back to center, interlace your fingers, place your hands at the back of your head. Good, we're gonna go into a back bend. Drop your shoulders, drop your knees, curl your tailbone under, lean your head back. Ah, oh, nice chest opener. Take one full breath here across your chest and a deep breath out, release. 
awesome work. I am immensely proud of you. I'm proud of myself. That was not easy. That was something else. Wow. Woo. Mind blown. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed your fit, full body. Welcome to the program. It's a seven day series, so be sure to check out all the other workouts. My name is Lindsay Bushman. This is Pilates On Demand. I thrive off of your support, so please subscribe, like, and share with your friends and your family. And I can't wait to see you tomorrow on our next workout. You crushed it. See you later. Bye.